What's up guys, it's Brian from Ashra Hub. It's about 10.33 p.m. Eastern Time, March 25th, 2018, and we got a Bitcoin trading video coming right to you. So, but if you're new to us, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Um, also get on over to Steam it and DTube, subscribe there as well, and an upvote and or a uh, re-steam would be, would be greatly appreciated. So, um, yeah, it's been a few days. I missed you guys. I hope you missed me too. <laughs> Um, it's been a few days, uh, I literally just got back probably about a half hour ago, and, uh, <laughs> um, I'm beat tired, I'm, I'm absolutely exhausted, you probably can hear it in my voice, but I want to at least get you something out here, um, because I know it's been a few days, um, and, uh, yeah, I've been watching the markets pretty closely, as I always do, I uh, always have my cell phone out with some sort of chart up, um, <laughs> no matter what I'm doing. So, um, let's get right into it here. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm recounting this right here. Um, I still need more, have to do some more work, but I'm recounting this right here as a one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I know originally we were thinking that possibly, um, Originally, we were thinking possibly that this was just really the top of three, and then we would have a four and then a five coming up. That does not look like that's happening anymore, okay? the It just does not make sense that the four would be so large and protracted um, w considering the fact that the size of the rest of the waves, okay? just doesn't seem to be that case. It could. It'd be a little odd, but um, it, it, it could happen. Um, at the same time is, yeah, I mean, we're coming down to retest down these lows again. So we would start breaching, you know, Elliott Wave um, Theory, uh, um, you know, based on how far one wave can come down ba uh, versus another wave. So in other words, that fourth wave would be coming down. I think it was uh, touching the, the, the top of the first wave. So <clears throat> does not uh, does not really look good. One of the one of the things that really I don't like about this is that here wave one and wave two are really small. I'm not you know you got to really go ahead and zoom in like on a five minute basis to try to really stretch it to go ahead and get a one two three four five and like an ABC. Excuse me, sorry, not polite of me to yawn, but um, yeah, so. It could happen there too, so not so pre not so pretty, not not really all that happy with it. But um, that's what that's what I'm going with for right now, and I'll have to sleep on it. <laughs> so um, I uh, <clears throat> I cleaned up things a little bit here, believe it or not. I know, um, and I'm trying to remember where we left off last. I think it was I think we were like right around right around here. Um, and what we were hoping and thinking for is that we were going to get another fifth wave, not another, but we were going to get a fifth wave down. So we thought we were going to get another leg down, um, nothing huge, but uh, maybe a little bit lower than what this is right here. Regardless, the market did come down. So um, that was pretty, uh, you know, pretty spot on, other than the fact that we just thought it was going to come down a little bit more. So. Next, um, yeah, we have our B coming up, so we're thinking this is an A, a B, and a C. Um, now, I'm starting to get a little bit more bullish. Um, I know this looks really bearish. I know this looks really bearish, and it, it, and, and, and it does. But I'm ever so slightly getting more and more bullish um, based on based on what I'm seeing here. Um, so what I'm what I'm hoping is that this is a wave one up and we're having a wave two and then there would be a larger wave three coming up that ignores the fact that this all could be just a large W X Y X Z where we would we would have another leg down so um, which I've spoken about many times before but the chances of uh, or basically my, my 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 sentiment going from you know bullish to bearish to bearish to bu uh, bullish is starting to become a little bit more bullish um, <clears throat> and that may surprise you uh, and you know why is that the case um, I don't know I just feel like the markets a little exhausted to the downside um, 
Uh, it's not to say that things could not accelerate, you know, to the downside. Absolutely not. I'm not trying to say that that's off the table. Uh, I just feel like possibly we could um, we be, could be exhausting this 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 correction. And you know, we saw a very strong motive wave up. Let's just call it that for now, right? Um, and now we're kind of just going in this sideways basis. And <clears throat> I'm thinking the way the, re the reason why we're just going sideways like this is that, you know, volume is is uh, you know nothing too great really to 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 write home about. Um, it's it, it's it's really not. So, you know, maybe uh, you know we need more. We need to really start protecting these levels here in order in order for us to start this beginning uh, you know third wave up. However, it's gotta happen soon. Like it's got to happen. Like, I mean, at least you know. I'm, I'm hoping it's not my impatience that's that's shining through here. But, but, um, and I'm a really patient person. But uh, even I get impatient, <laughs> especially when it comes to corrections. Um, but uh, it, it's got to happen. Like in the next few hours, <laughs> you know. I didn't think we were going to be talking about this again. Uh, coming from my video on Friday versus uh, which uh, you know I knew I was going to make one at least Sunday night. So, um, you know, on, 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 uh, as far as our levels are concerned, you know, the one hour kind of, you know, resistance, you know, worked out pretty well. You know, the market kind of came up here, you know, touched it a few times. I think we had drawn it while the market was right around here anyway. So just for full disclosure reasons. But what I, what I, uh, do want to show is, uh, it's, uh, resistance, <laughs> um, is that yeah where resistance becomes support and again look you know if this if this line meant nothing well then the market probably would not have come back down and tried to test it and that's exactly what it did right here on this candle okay um, I mean the market came down to a low of 8552 spot 55 right and we were 8545 right so it's about seven dollars off pretty good so we, we, we tested here and then we shot up here for our resistance, a similar situation, similar situation. We busted right through it, right? A few things I want to show here. So this same candle that retested the one hour, it also tried to go up and test the four hour very quickly, right? But there just was not enough volume. And look, look what was happening. Um, volume overall was starting to come down, right? It's starting to come down. And obviously, I mean, this is drawn over here, but volume overall was starting to come down, right? We had a ton of volume right here on this candle, right? Which ended up almost like a doji, right? If the, if the body was any thinner, uh, the, it, would, it would be a doji candle. And look, the whole market was running up to this 55 EMA. I mean, this 55 EMA was just like a huge brick wall. <clears throat> so... Um, you know, this is one thing that I, I failed to mention before in the past. Sometimes this happens quite a bit is, um, when you get a bunch of like doji like candles, especially some of them that have very long wicks in them, and they're usually right near like a supporter or resistance level, especially when it comes down to moving averages or exponential moving averages, it usually breaks through. I'm not really sure why that's the case, but, um, you know, basically sentiment is is really just, you know, trying to get through that line. And that's exactly that's exactly what happened here. Right. And you could see when we got through when we got through uh, this 55 EMA, we see we did it on lighter volume than what we did here. Pretty interesting. So. um, Yeah, that's what's that's what's going on there. So on the four hour basis, yeah, we rocketed right through it. Okay, and then the market came back down and, you know, and, and, and tested it heavily, very heavily, right? I mean, there's the, this body right here is actually through it and same, same thing here as well. So, um, you know, slightly through it. So, uh, and, then, and then the market obviously ran back up here. So, um, we think some sort of channel is going on here. You can also draw this as a de descending wedge, uh, which obviously would be something bullish. But um, 
that's what we're seeing uh, for for right now. The one hour resistance, we are going to uh, delete it because we don't really have any resistance or support. The four hour uh, resistance actually stays the same. Okay, we're keeping it the same. The daily resistance of 9,665, okay, um, the candle is still open right I mean the, the the day hasn't finished yet so won't be probably till tomorrow's video where the day has finished but um, I'm just gonna write this in like this uh, 9164 and this is this is not this can change it will change this 9164 I'm just writing I'm just writing the uh, the number right I'm not changing the actual uh, line itself um, and so yeah, I'm becoming like I said, becoming more more bullish. And let's see what happens. I may I may be made a fool here of the market, but by the market, but that, that that's what I uh, believe is happening. Okay, so we made it up to this level right here, right? This level about 9000, right? And this level of 9000, you know, we had drawn this a long time ago. Right? Comes from right here. All right? And, you know, it's a, it's a level that has a lot of strength, a lot of strength, tons of strength. Okay, so um, this is something, obviously, that's playing in the market right now as far as a resistance level is concerned. All right. Um, so on a one-hour basis, I mean, you got to look at something... Uh, Oh, before we even talk about that, trade setup. Um, here. So this stuff is 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 textbook again, guys. Textbook, textbook, textbook. You see that uh, on balance volume, right? Made a made a made a made a lower peak, right? Versus here, right? This is higher, this is lower, this is lower, this is higher. Right? Divergence, right? So the divergence that was being shown right here should should tell you, uh, especially since we already had this 9,000 level drawn, and it's also based, has to do with tops right here. The market stopped right here too. Okay, you really want to then start looking at volume, and volume started falling off, right? Laguerre RSI was also over was also overbought. So this is an excellent trade setup, okay? You have your stop losses, you know, you can have them super, super, super tight. I mean, your stop losses could be like 9,100 or something like that, right? And you would target like the bottom right here. Now, it hasn't, it hasn't hit there just yet, but you have to be a little bit smarter than that, right? You have to be a little bit smarter than that, the fact that you do know that this green line is here, right? So you can kind of target this green line. And say, okay, fine, I'm going to get out a little bit above it, right? In the event that the market doesn't actually touch the green line itself. So that would have been that would have been a beautiful trade um, as far as targeting is concerned, right? And what you would, what you, uh, you could also, you could have gone ahead and got in up here, right? Which I would be obviously a bit more of an aggressive uh, trade. But you would also would want to take a look to see <clears throat> it breaking kind of this level right here. Where it stopped before around this eighty-seven thirty, right? And then you could add add to your position coming down. So another thing I want to show you also is uh, based on the RSI. All right, RSI the divergence there was great. It was excellent. It was screaming at you. Okay. I mean, it just doesn't really get any better than this. Um, as you guys notice, you, <laughs> you probably notice that uh, I tend to give more um, short selling, uh, or but basically my my my, my trades are tended to be tilted towards uh, short selling. I don't know why. It's just always something that just made more sense to me <laughs> than than uh, than buying. Yeah, okay, fine. Hashware, fud, whatever you want to call me. <laughs> that's fine but um you know there has to be buyers and sellers 
Um, but even, you know, in my past life and stuff like that, I just was always able to um, identify uh, when the market was going to fall off uh, better than when the market was going to run up. Um, or maybe I just always just always more comfortable doing it. I was always more comfortable short selling. Maybe because I always just felt like a badass doing it. I don't know. Maybe that maybe that was the reason, or because everybody else was always concentrating on buying, and I was like, well, I need to di differentiate myself from the other rest of the traders that I'm competing with, you know, here at uh, you know, uh, you know, in, you know, basically in my firm. Um, and uh, so yeah, that's what I did. I would concentrate more on short on short selling. So. Because when the market goes down and everyone who's long, you know, and you're short selling uh, and, and, and you're a beast at it, uh, you look like you look like a genius. Um, you know, you look like the hero. So, um, yeah, so, I mean, this is just like textbook type stuff right here. All right, guys. Um, so, yeah, unbalanced volume, I just which I just deleted. Excuse me. All right, on balance volume, like I said, has been falling drastically. I mean, look at this. This has just been, you know, from this peak here to this peak here to see what's going on right here. I mean, this thing is just coming down. All right, so <clears throat> we really need a pop up above this in order to go ahead and start, you know, moving up. And we have to start moving up soon. If we don't start moving up soon, um, you know, Bitcoin really doesn't like to go sideways for very long periods of times. I mean, most of the most of the cryptocurrencies don't. So, I mean, this it, it's it's, it's got to move up or it's got to move down. And again, remember, I keep always saying a good trader knows when it's either going to move up or down. Not if it's going to move up or down, but when is the market at a decision point? And we're kind of we're kind of there right now. Um, we really are at a decision point. We, we need to protect this level right here. We really need to protect this level right, al right along here, about 8,300. Okay, if we don't protect that 8,300 level, I do feel that we can fall further. Um, I do like how the market is finding itself right along the top of this green line. Because that's telling me that it's really just, it's feeling it out. It's like, is this thing real or is it not? Can Is this a, uh, you know, uh, imagine you're going to jump off from a platform. You got to go ahead and make sure that platform is well built. It's sturdy. It's not going to slip out from underneath your feet, right? It's a similar way the market works as well, okay? It's, uh, it's still like an engineering or engineered construct, right? I mean, as far as the market is concerned. So, um... What did I have here? Four hour resistance level on the 15 minute chart. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Oh, yeah. Four hour resistance level on the 15 minute chart. That's why, uh, something I failed to mention. Um, but yeah, I mean, you could see how this whole thing is was bouncing around here. Um, so yeah, I think that's really about it for right now. I just want to keep this thing pretty short to say the least. But, um, you know, I mean, hey guys, you gotta respect what's going on with on balance volume, right? You gotta respect this. I mean, relatively, this thing wasn't as it wasn't as low as as it was indi indicate here on on balance volume. So, um, yeah, that's let's just leave it here for right now. I gotta go to sleep. I'm be tired. I gotta get up first thing in the morning, and I will be speaking to you then. Have a great night.